Dear viewers, today I'll be changing oil on my Royal Enfield Classic 350. The process is exactly the same for Classic 500, Bullet 350, Bullet 500 and Continental GT. First I'll be quickly going through the things that I'll use today. So the first thing I have here is an oil drain pan. This is to make sure that I don't make a mess. I've got a socket driver with long arm. I've got a short socket driver. I'll need three different sockets here. So this is a 13 by 16. This is to open the main drain nut. I've got a 13 mil. This is to open the secondary drain nut. And I've got an 8 mil. This is to open the oil filter cover. These three nuts and also the oil filter screen which is underneath the bike. I've got genuine Royal Enfield oil filter, which also includes two O-rings. Every time you change the oil filter, make sure you change the O-rings as well. I've got WD-40, a simple plastic cup, and I'll show you why we will use it in a minute. I've got some fresh diesel, two pieces of cloths. And of course, uh, engine oil. Now I've got Castrol Active 15W50. Uh, now that's the recommended grade for Royal Enfields. This is normal mineral engine oil. Some people prefer using uh, synthetic oil, but to be honest, you don't really need synthetic oil for these bikes, simply because Royal Enfield engines are so basic and so simple that you don't really need synthetic oil they're not high compression engines at all so to be honest these engines the engine technology dates back to 1950s and 60s so normal mineral oil is absolutely fine now the first thing we will do before doing anything is we'll clean the under bottom of the engine the reason it's important is because if the bottom of the engine is dirty after you drop the oil and put the drain nut back again you can get dirt inside the engine and that's really bad so we'll be using diesel and the piece of cloth to clean the bottom now as you can see the my engine is fairly clean but still I'll spray some diesel and clean it again now there are three areas where you have to clean it well. Number one is the secondary drain nut. Number two is the oil filler filter screen area. And finally, the main drain nut, which is here. So you have to spray diesel and clean up this area well. I've cleaned the bottom of the engine thoroughly. Now the next step will be to start the bike and make sure that the engine is warm. Now it's important to have, uh, it's important to warm up the oil because if the oil is warm, it will flow out of the engine much quickly and it will also clean the top end as the old oil flows out. I'll start the bike first. Turn the ignition on, turn the fuel switch on choke the bike has been sitting here for a while so the engine is very cold and just let the bike run for a while so that the engine is warm The bike has been running for the last 5 minutes, so now it's time to turn the engine off and drain oil. You can take the bike out for a short ride as well to warm up the engine, just make sure you don't get the bottom of the engine dirty. 
To open the main drain nut, we'll be using the 13 by 16 socket and the long socket wrench. Now, after you put everything in, just make sure you turn it the right way. An easy way to remember is left loose, right tight. So just make sure you don't turn it the wrong way. So after everything is in, left to loose the nut, right to tighten up. So I'll put the socket into the main drain nut first. This is the main drain nut. And now I'll be removing it. After you loosen it, it's fairly easy to open with, hand, with your hand. So I've loosened the main drain nut. Now I'll just remove it by hand. As you can see, old oil is coming out. It's fairly dirty. Next step is to open the second drain nut. For that, we'll be using the 13 mil. And that is that one. that one so if loosen it now There you go, a bit more oil coming up, coming out, sorry. It's a bit odd because most modern motorcycles have just one drain nut. With Royal Enfields, you've got three. It's really, really old design. Next step will be to open these two bolts and open the oil filter screen for that we'll be using the 8 mil socket so now I've got the 8 mil sockets to open that Once you loosen it, it's quite easy to open uh, with your hand. It's good to wear a gloves as well. I'm not doing it. I'm just being naughty. As you can see, I'm holding the um, the cover as I'm opening the nut because I don't want to fall it onto oil. As you can see, a lot of oil coming out. Now we'll be cleaning this screen with diesel and we'll put it back again soon. Now I've got all the nuts open. Now what I'll do is I'll quickly start the engine and run it for 10 to 15 seconds. What that'll do is that'll get 
rest of the oil out from the engine and the pump as well. So as you can see, I've got everything out. The oil pan is underneath the bike and now I'll start the bike. Again, just make sure you don't run the bike for more than 10 to 15 seconds. As you can see, a lot more oil coming out. Turn it off quickly because you don't want to run the engine without oil. But as you can see, after running the engine, there's just a lot more oil coming out now from all three um, drain nuts. Or not well, not the drain nuts, but all three um, holes. Now I'll leave the bike like that for another 10-15 minutes and then run the engine again for another five to ten seconds now it's been around 15 minutes the bike is, has been like that now i'll turn over the engine again for another 10 seconds As you can see, there is not much oil left in the engine anymore. As you can see, we've got all the oil out. Now, what we will do is we'll basically clean everything with diesel and then lubricate everything with a um, bit of WD-40 and then put it back. Now, the main drain nut here, as you can see, it's got bit of metal shaving here and also the oil filter has got a magnetic drain nut here and it's got a bit of ma uh, metal the bike has done just close to 8,000 kilometers and as you can see it's still the engine is still shredding a bit of metal so we'll clean all that up with diesel so I'll clean everything with diesel and then a piece of cloth. And as you can see that the, the filter screen has got a bit of dirt as well. So I've cleaned all the bits now. Just always make sure. Now see if you look at the main drain nut. The that bit is magnet so make sure you clean it up thoroughly because that catches a lot of metal shavings as well and that bit is magnet as well so make sure you clean both of them properly and clean the filter screen properly as well mechanics will never clean them you know the way you will uh, because you know they're doing it for money and you, you are doing it because you love your bike so clean them thoroughly take your time and then I've cleaned it with diesel and used a piece of clean cloth as well leave it like that for at least 10-15 minutes because you want all the diesel to dry up you don't want diesel in your engine now what I'll do is I'll put everything back so I'll start with the secondary drain nut first so I'll just loosely put it back with my hand Second will be the main drain nut. These two are easy to put back. I'll tighten them up in a sec. Make sure the washer is there. And finally the oil filter screen. Now I'll be putting the filter screen back. Just make sure it's aligned properly, like that. And then tighten up both uh, nuts. 
So I've put everything back in now. So I've got the filter screen, I've got the main drain nut, and I've got the secondary drain nut as well. The next step will be to properly tighten them. Don't make sure you don't over tighten them because if you do what will do what will happen is you can damage the thread and that will start leaking oil again remember that left is loose right it right is tight so we are tightening it up now It's tempting to over tighten the nuts, but just don't. I'll tighten up all the other nuts as well now, which won't be in the video, but it's fairly easy to do. So I've put all the drain nuts back um, in again. And as I say, just make sure you never over tighten them. Now the next step will be to change the oil filter. So. With the 8mm socket, open these three um, bolts. I've loosened the nuts, now I should be able to open them with uh, my hand. And as you can see, there's more oil coming out. This one is not coming out for some reason. Now it should. Oh. It's almost out now so there is a spring inside so make sure you hold it like that and then gradually pull out all the nuts all three nuts are now out I'll get the oil filter out so just be very careful with that so the filter cover is out now I'll get the filter out see that there are two oil rings as well so one is this one the other one is inside which will get out oops oh, the oil filter fell in the old oil it doesn't really matter anyway so that's the old oil ring which will be replacing anyway now remember I showed you this cup before what we will do is we'll put the new oil filter and the rings in this cup and soak it in oil the reason we'll do it is because if you put the oil filter directly in it's very dry and it takes time for oil to uh, wet the filter or it get it takes time for the filter to properly get wet enough and if you just put it in and start the bike it'll do fine it'll I mean it'll work the only problem is that it can starve the engine of oil because the oil filter will be taking a lot of oil to get wet so it's it's a good idea to soak the oil, new oil filter in oil first before you put it in so I've got the new filter and the oil uh, the rubber rings out and I'll put the filter in here and soak it in oil now That should be good enough and just leave it like that for maybe five minutes 
now while we are waiting what I will be doing is cleaning up the side of the bike with a piece of cloth and diesel as well now also while you're waiting you can clean up the bottom of the bike with diesel which I'll be doing now so I'll remove the uh, oil pan and clean the bottom the reason I'll do it is because I don't want any old oil to drop into um, onto the ground and confuse me because that might mean that the bolts are not tight or something is wrong I don't want that to happen so I'll be cleaning the bottom of the engine thoroughly now so I've finished uh, cleaning the bike uh, cleaning the underneath underneath of the engine and um, the side of the engine what I'll do is I'll quickly apply some WD-40 onto the um, bolts and then put the oil filter back in now before you put the oil filter back in you'll have to put the o-ring in first that goes straight in there now an easy way to put it in is to leave it here and then push it in with the oil filter which I'll be doing now I'll have to use both of my hands hence I can't really um, record that so I've got the oil filter uh, the, um, the o-ring in there properly and as you can see if it's in there you can also use a screwdriver to help you to line it up like that just be very careful not to damage the o-ring now that the first o-ring is in I'll put the oil filter in there and then the um, second o-ring secondary just put it in here and then push it back so the o-ring is here just line it up properly and push it in like that and push the <coughs> oil filter cover with one hand and start putting the screws back in so, <clears throat> so I've only hand tightened the bolts now what I'll be doing now is push that in and properly um, tight up all the bolts with the wrench tightening up all the bolts properly again don't over tighten them I've done this one I'll do it for other two as well so that's all uh, in now so I've installed the oil filter I'll clean it up with diesel again to make sure that the engine is clean and the final bit will be putting fresh oil in there so I'll have to get a funnel quickly and start filling it up it needs around two and a half liters of oil uh, what I'll do is I'll start filling and I'll keep an eye on the filler hole and after filling it up to the level filling oil up to the upper level i'll take it for a ride ride the bike for around 10 minutes come back leave it like that for another 15 to 20 minutes then come back and recheck the level if you'll probably see that the level is slightly lower in that case add a bit of oil and just fill it up to the upper level or just just above the upper level now the final bit will be filling it up with oil so 
make sure that you before you put the oil filler cover back in you clean it with diesel and I put a bit of WD-40 around it as well make sure that the funnel is clean and after you put the funnel in there start filling with oil and keep an eye on the filler screen what I do is I generally use a torch and that helps me to keep an eye um, on the oil level as you can see it's empty now so I'll start filling with fresh oil it does take a bit of time so first fill it up with two and a half liters of oil and then take it for a ride and then come back and check again it's a bit difficult to do with one hand so I'll be turning the camera off now but I'll keep filling so I've filled it up with oil now it's time to take it for a ride for 10 minutes and come back and check the oil level and fill up with a bit more oil if needed Thank you for watching the videos guys um, if you have something to add please write in the comment section thank you very much the bike already feels smoother with new oil.